This beat the insight you need. China's economy rebounded strongly in the first two months, according to data released by the National Bureau of Statistics on Monday. Fixed asset investment jumped by 35 percent year-on-year between January and February. Total retail sales of consumer goods increased by 33.8 percent. The value added of industrial companies above the designated size increased by 35.1 percent. Overall, the three figures all reversed their downward trends a year ago, but the recovery wasn't even. Both retail sales and industrial production data were stronger than expected. However, fixed asset investment growth was lower than expected. If we look at the first two months of 2020 and 2021 together, on average, investment in the first two months of these two years gained by 1.7 percent compared with the same period in 2019. And total retail sales of consumer goods went up by 3.2 percent, while the industrial value added increased by 8.1 percent. Analysts say the current economic recovery is underway, and the base was pretty low a year ago, so the numbers look pretty nice this time. They expect China's economic growth rate to be around 18 percent in the first quarter of this year, and above 8 percent for the whole year. Analysts know that the improvement in pandemic control has drummed up manufacturing, and the global economy's recovery, although very gradual, has driven export growth beyond expectations. China is the first major economy in the world to start withdrawing pandemic-induced stimulus efforts. Unlike the U.S. and Europe, which are still pouring liquidity and fiscal spending into their economies. China has begun to slow down credit support in some sectors because it doesn't want a comeback of overborrowing or overleveraging in the economy. China's policymakers have expressed concern about an overheating housing market and want to prevent bigger imbalances in the economy. They are also eager to resume a curb on debt accumulated since the 2009 financial crisis. Although the economic figures so far this year have been excellent. China's challenging task has just begun. The biggest concern yet is the global economic environment. The COVID is still spreading globally. The world economic situation is severe, complex, unstable, and uncertain. That means the foundation of domestic economic recovery in China is not yet solid. Household consumption is still restricted. Investment growth is limited. If China can hold on to the recovery, it will be able to use the certainty of domestic economy to hedge against the uncertainties of the complex international environment.